All right, we are doing the Myers map. Uh, kind of some unfortunate gym positions, but considering one's the side of the street, they're usually spawning on the far side, so I'll, I'll check over here. They're probably in the middle one or the far one. Generator noise is upstairs. See if I can maybe get a grab, but they might hear me coming. Oh, okay, so they probably just heard my ropes or something. It looks like there's a couple people here, so let's see if I can get another hit in. Alright, so she's gonna try to loop or leave? Alright, she's leaving. I'm gonna go ahead and do chase because she's heading to the middle. She's desperate since she's injured, which means she's probably gonna blow through um, the middle pallets here, so I'm gonna see if I can get her to drop. Yep, perfect. Let's see if she wants to. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and trash it because it's good to get this one out of the way. She's in a really weak spot here because this is not a very powerful pallet. Yeah, they can only usually get one good loop in. Okay, so throwing trimmers, goodness, I can't speak. Thrilling trimmers just procked. So, oh, that doesn't go there. So they can't work on that gin uh, because they got off of it running away and it locked in. So that's one of the powerful things about throwing trimmers. If people are on a gin and you scare them off and you pick someone up, they can't do anything about it and have to leave. I know they didn't get very far. Again, this is a week. I'm going to see if I can get him to chase inside the house, or if he just wants to keep looping this. I'm going to go this around uh, a way to try to encourage him to go to the house. Perfect. Okay. So here's a good trick. I'm going to go ahead to the right, because I usually try to take this window. That's why I like getting people into the house, because that t window is just so tempting. Now some survivors are kind of smart about it and just continue to run past the window as a risk versus reward but usually they take that window right. see if anybody's hiding in the center with my stealth no okay so they just finished that jam which means they're probably gonna jump in the window so I'm just gonna wait here for just a second right, there we go Love that spot. Get a good jump scare in. Okay, I'm gonna trigger thrilling trimmers just to buy me some time. Excuse me, car. I'm gonna take a look around, see if anybody's working on gins. Uh, nope. All right. Cool. So throwing trimmers has locked that down for a while. Okay, so I don't see any scratch marks there, which means they probably ran to the left to heal. So I'm going to go in the house. That way I can hear left and right side. Cut them off. Okay, I don't hear anyone. So maybe they did run off to the left, running to the right, and just didn't have scratch marks for some reason. So I can get some free stock in since they were just unhooked. Cool. Now, I don't want to go for the guy uh, that just got unhooked because I don't like double hooking people. Uh, no, go away. Uh, I'm just going to let him go. I mean, he might, they might get some progress on a gen, but they only have one gen done. I, I can ease up a little bit. I prefer kind of a more fair, balanced gameplay than just being sweaty to win. Okay, I'm going to... Well, okay, game will not let me stalk. Okay, that's great. Okay, uh, so it's a little glitchy sometimes, it won't let you lean, and right there I couldn't stalk apparently because of the bushes, I guess, so that kind of sucks. She would have been 99 there if that actually functioned correctly. I'm going to check my gin here. Uh, okay, he doesn't even progress, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, I'm gonna give them a chance to get him up. Uh, yeah, I knew he was wrong. So usually when there's someone with a flashlight, they're gonna hide nearby. So let's see if I can bait him to come. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you can do that. To pretend you're leaning over to pick him up because people with a flashlight just, they can't stand not trying to do flashlight saves. So you can essentially trick them and get them out of the way too. 
Okay, they've been hooked, so now I will hook him. That way it's not double hooking and they had plenty of chance to come get him. He would have been already 99 on pickup by now. So I'll just use it as the free pressure. Alright, she's out in the open. Let's get some stock in. 99. Alright, so I'm moving to the left and then to the right to try to catch her off, make her think I'm going the other direction. Uh, she's just holding W. I should make this. Yeah. Okay, so she... Okay, this is a good... This is one of the times that you use you slug to do pressure. They have to get here, essentially. So I'm going to take advantage of that, then they're going to trade. I'm going to let him try to get a chance to get the other person. If they even make it, I don't know. No, they didn't make it. Is she still here? There's sometimes a hook upstairs. Let's see if there is. Uh, no luck. Actually, no hooks around here anywhere. Probably just gone basement. But well, you can't see her, uh, the person's name there, but their name is the Ghost Face Simp. So <laughs> I'm, I got four gins left. I'm gonna ease up a bit just to have a little fun with them. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Gives them a chance behind me to reset and all that. Yeah, if the game is in my favor this much at this point, uh, they got someone out of the game and they've only got one gen, gen uh, I'll kind of back off a bit and let people kind of reset. Okay, they're probably healing in the house or behind it. Okay, scratch marks, so they're definitely near here. Okay, so I'm going to go backwards here to make her think that I'm following behind. Let's see, she's either inside or out. Uh, she's inside and she went upstairs, okay. Let's see if I can bait her into jumping out the window. Love to see it. Alright, well considering we have a uh, ghost face simp, um, I am giving her a chance to have uh, a photo op. If she'll do it, we'll see. Was that her that finished that in there, or was that the other person? Oh no, that's one. Okay. Say cheese! Cheese. Spin the win. Alright, let's see if I can find that last person. I, I typically just choose one person to let go by the end of the game for various reasons. Okay, let's see if I can bait him out. <laughs> I love that house so much. Another photo opportunity. Oh, she's she's already ready for it. Yeah, she knows the match is over by at this by this point. So, all right, let's find hatch. So, I will usually let, like I said, let someone hatch. It's usually like, let's say there's two people left and one's on hook. If the other person doesn't hide and actually try to unhook, I'll usually let the unhooker go. Uh, just, you know, because they didn't try to hide and be lame. Uh, they actually tried to, you know, save the person. So that's usually who I let go, but different than this one. Bye. GG. Alright, that was fun.